So now we've decided that we have what it takes or we want to take the chance and become an entrepreneur. What does it take to start a business? Let's talk about that for a bit. Well, to begin your new business, you have to have a general idea of what it is you want to do, what your interest is, where you think there's an opportunity. Once you have the idea, you need to develop a strategy that guides the planning of the business process. This is the development of how you want your business to operate, the business model, who's going to, what the customers are going to pay for, how you're going to deliver that to the customers, and how after all the things are paid for, you end up making a profit. This is the business model. The strategy provides the opportunity to make critical decisions about how to best proceed in terms of the form of ownership, that is whether you're a sole proprietor, proprietorship, partnership, or corporation, or LLC in some form, um, how much money or capital you need to start, whether you should start from scratch, whether you should buy a new business, or whether you should buy into a franchise business like, for example, Subway. The uh, a key element of the success is, uh, is developing a business plan or starting with a business model, which tells you who your customers are, what sorts of customer relationships you want to have, how you're going to develop your channels, where you're going to get your supplies, all of those things, all form, think through those as a business model. And then you, wait, you figure how that model will play out over time, and that becomes your business plan. A precise statement, a business plan is the precise statement of the rationale for the business and then a step-by-step -step explanation of how it will achieve its goals over, the t over with a time element. What will happen the first month, the first six months, the first year, the first two years, three years. The business plan should include an explanation of the business, an analysis of the competition, estimates of the sales, estimates of the cost of those sales, estimates of revenue, and I mean of expenses, and then of course income, as well as other information about your product and services, how it will be prepared, developed, and delivered to customers. It should also establish a strategy for acquiring the, significant, the sufficient funds to keep the business going. A good business plan should act as a guide and a reference document not a shackle that limits the business's flexibility and decision making. In other words, it's, it's subject to change at all times, but it does give you a roadmap for moving forward so you understand what it is you're trying to accomplish. And then you can also reflect back on the business plan to see how you're doing uh, with respect to what you expected to be accomplished, to have accomplished in a certain period of time. That way it can keep you on track day-to-days of running a business can easily move you off of your planned development of your business model and your business plan. It must be revised periodically to, a, to ensure that the firm's goals and strategies adapt to the environment. It's also something that is used for you to develop support for your business, either financial support by going to investors or bankers, or even if you're wanting to make a major hire like a marketing or a technology support person, they're going to want to know your business plan and how you, how you expect your business to perform over time so they can make an important decision in their life of whether to join your enterprise. Likely, you might have situations where you're trying to partner with a retailer if you're making a wholesale product or with a supplier if you're going to be a distributor of their product or a seller of their product. And they likewise will want to understand what your business looks like going forward. The business plan is effectively your resume about the business and it, it, it entices people to work with you either financially or in some other business context as you work with them to collaborate in making a successful enterprise over time. That's the form, that's the usefulness of a business plan, starting with the business model and then working that out over time in a plan to go from a startup to a successful ongoing enterprise. Once you have your business plan developed, you need to determine and finalize the form of business ownership you will take. As we talked about earlier, the three main forms are sole proprietorship, partnership, and corporation. But there's also other forms, and in particular, the limited liability company, or LLC, is a good place to, to start. As we mentioned earlier, it has the advantages of limiting the liabilities that are incurred by the company, that is, by the business that you're starting, to the business, and they don't, you don't have uh, the, um, your liabilities don't cause potentially put some of your own personal assets at risks as, as risk as might happen with a sole proprietorship um, and the partnership. 
So uh, limited liability is often a good place to start. But eventually you want to decide whether the best model is operating as a sole proprietorship partnership corporation or as a limited liability company and maybe that for a longer period of time or maybe just as a startup mode before you move into a corporation which has higher expenses. In the next section we'll talk in the next lecture we'll talk about financing a lecture uh, financing a venture and what it takes to do that what some of the options are and some of the players in the financing market that can help be the support support for your new business startup and take you take you with them or you they come with you on your successful journey into an ongoing enterprise lecture uh, lecture 7 will be financing a business